Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Wimaxit M1410CT, a 14 inch touch compatible portable monitor that works just as well in upright mode as it does in landscape. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Wimaxit Stroke Andy Scene M1410CT. This is potentially the best value touchscreen portable monitor on the market right now. And if it isn't right now, then it will be in a very short while. Depending on when you're watching this video, there is going to be a spring sell on Amazon.co.uk. And at the time, this is pretty much guaranteed from what we've heard from the supplier, which is Andy Scene. I'll put some links in the video description. This will be at its historic lowest price ever. So if you are kind of thinking about dabbling your toes into the world of portable monitors, you want something which is easy to use, supports USB Type-C or HDMI, has an IPS screen, 60 hertz refresh, and uses an absolute tiny amount of power, then this might be just the thing for you. Now currently, at the time of recording, this is retailing for some in the region of about £169. Depending on the discounts, it looks like it may be a little bit off of that, so potentially bring it under the magical £150 mark, which for a touchscreen version is excellent. You can get the non-touchscreen versions for about 130 pretty much every day of the week, but if you can get it closer to that with built-in touchscreen, if touch is a thing for you, then certainly this is going to be worth looking at. So we're going to go through today, do a quick unboxing, show you exactly what you get, show you all the ports and all the potential possibilities of this monitor, and then you can work out if this is going to be suitable for your next portable monitor purchase. So as usual, we'll start off with the packaging and they have not spared any expense on the packaging whatsoever, just a plain white box, which is absolutely fine. It tells you what it is on there. So the 14 inch portable kickstand portable display and on the side of the box, it gives you some of the kind of key characteristics. So it's a 14 inch screen, it is an IPS panel, it's full HD or 1080p. It supports USB type C with charging pass through as well, which is awesome. It's got a foldable kickstand, which is something which a lot of these portable monitors come with awful kickstands or absolutely horrible folio cases which you touch them and they basically fall over so this is an excellent inclusion and also you've got ss power delivery so that is the usb pass through for charging your device whilst you're using it so if you're maybe using this with your android phone on usb type c and you're using it as an extension monitor which you definitely can do then you can also charge your phone at the same time so kind of like the samsung dex type of scenario but yeah lots of cool features Okay, so let's take a look at some of the things which we actually get included in the box, other than obviously the monitor itself, as you can see, and it's currently in one of its flattest orientations, which uh, yeah, is very good. So if you want to use it actually for drawing or some kind of art or CAD possibly, you can almost use it like a piece of paper almost. So that is excellent. If you're concerned that maybe you're going to get your greasy fingerprints on it or potentially scratch it, then they do include a plastic screen protector which uh, you may or may not want to use i've personally chosen not to do it at the moment i actually kind of like the finish which is on the screen already because it has got a very nice matte finish to it the anti-glare coating so if you add on the screen protector potentially you may get a little bit more reflection um obviously down to the individual whether or not you want to use that with that type of panel i'm quite happy to use some screen cleaner to keep it clean if i need to also included if you want to keep it clean as well Andy Scene have actually included a small little microfiber cloth in there so you can actually wipe off all the dirty marks so that's a handy inclusion. There's also a support card as well from Wimaxit so if you get any problems you can email their support. If you need anything like downloads, manuals or just an extra bit of help in hand if you're trying to set up your device. Although realistically you're not going to need that because it is actually super simple and basically there's kind of one connection, possibly two depending on your setup and your characteristics. So the simplest one is going to be straight away is going to be your USB type C. So USB type C into your phone, laptop, PC, whatever it might be. And on the other end, another USB type C, and that is going to go straight into the side of the screen. So no additional power required. You will get power delivery from your USB type C and also you'll get your display. So for certain laptops and phones, yeah, it's going to be a very, very simple, straightforward thing to do. If for example, you're using this with a traditional desktop PC, then you can use either the USB type C for power or alternatively, you can use the USB type C to USB type A. If that isn't enough and you still need extra power, then they do include a handy little power brick. So this is a two amp power, five volts, so 10 watts, that's all it needs. This has got a power consumption of under 12 watts, it says in the manual. So yeah, it's gonna use an extremely small amount of electricity. So if you're maybe thinking, get a multiple monitor set up, 
but you are also conscious of costs of actually running the thing, then again, it's gonna be less than 10 watts. So it's basically like a modern energy saving light bulb. So that's it for the power, obviously power it however you choose and for connectivity. So for certain HDMI type devices or even a display port, you can get a display port to HDMI adapter, then use the full size HDMI and that converts into a mini HDMI, which again plugs into the side of the monitor. So very straightforward, very simple, tons and tons of flexibility options. So again, display port, you can adapt down to HDMI. You can also use this on things like obviously consoles, Xbox, PlayStation, etc., etc., Switch, many things like that, and also devices which use USB type C as an output. So now let's take a look at the screen itself. And this has got an anti-glare coating, but because of the studio lighting, which is uh, a little bit more than what most people will probably have in their houses or offices, etc., then you may see some reflections. So my apologies for that. So you can just about see there. I'm deliberately trying to get a reflection, but in most cases, it's actually pretty decent. So excellent stuff. Nice small bezel around the outside edge of this 14 inch screen. So again, it is 1080p IPS, very nice. It's 250 nits, so it's not the brightest of screens. So if you're planning on using this predominantly in an outdoor environment or very close to a window with full daylight, then you might find it a little bit on the dull side. But for me personally in here, even with the studio lights on, and we actually did a bit more of an in-depth look at this in one of our live streams, which I'll try and link to as well. And you can see various different aspects there and it, it's absolutely fine. So logo on the bottom, not entirely happy with that. I'd like that to be either smaller or perhaps just a little bit black type, but surely a Sharpie or something can take care of that or maybe a sticker. The actual dimensions of this is absolutely tiny. So you're looking at 320 millimeters across, looking at about 190 millimeters from top to bottom and a depth with the stand actually folded in of about five millimeters. So this is ultra thin, ultra slim. You've also got built-in speakers, which is not something you get generally on such a slim device. So you have got stereo speakers. There's little outputs for them on the back there. And looking at the back, actually, you can see you've got this really nice metallic design, very similar or reminiscent to those of you, maybe you owned a Microsoft Surface, Surface Pro, that sort of thing. This was basically how they came. So they got their strength through the actual build materials rather than being plastic and a little bit flimsy, whereas this has got virtually no flex to it whatsoever, which is gonna be great for obviously travel purposes, etc., and storage. The kickstand is for me possibly the highlight. So the kickstand just folds away into itself. There are also rubber feet on the bottom and there's also rubber foot in the middle there. So when it's actually on a desk surface of any sort, then it doesn't want to move. And when you're tapping away at the screen, which potentially you're going to do because it is a touch screen after all. So it doesn't want to move around. And obviously depending on the angle, if you want to, you can put it a little bit lower down. You are going to minimize the contact of the rubber if you do this. So obviously you can use it basically flat if you want to, the stand does go right down. Again, the kickstand, you can have, choose your own particular angle. So if you have got overhead lighting and it is interfering, you can just move the screen back a little bit, much like you would with a laptop. So that is excellent. I do like the fact they've done that. So you don't have those kind of fixed hard in stone limits of what your stand can actually do. A lot of them are kind of like almost directly upright and then kind of 45 degrees. Maybe you want something in between. So this is really good. Another thing it does give you is the option to use it in a portrait mode. So a lot of people, I guess, are gonna just use it as an additional monitor for their PC or laptop or whatever, or just for gaming on, watching content, etc. But for some people, you might wanna use it as a feed of some sort for maybe, maybe Discord chat, that kind of thing. So you can turn it around and have it as a portrait monitor using the kickstand. And again, there's no rubbers on that, so you might wanna sort of not use it so much as a touch screen, but it doesn't really wanna move that much. So a light touch is gonna to be absolutely fine. This is on a shiny surface so if it's on like a desk mat or something or a mouse pad mat one of those large ones then it isn't going to move anywhere at all so yeah, the kickstand is one of the highlights definitely on the side connectivity wise so on this side you've got the hd which is your incoming hdmi the mini hdmi you also got a pair of usb type c's and also there's a power led next to that as well you can use either one of the USB type C's. That is something also which some of these monitors, you kind of plug them in and you're wondering which port is gonna be for power, which one is for the actual touchscreen driver for your device. It doesn't matter, you can plug it into either one and it works absolutely fine. So that again is one of those things just demystifying things slightly, which is awesome. On the other side, you've got your control panel or controls. So top one is your exit button when you're in the menu. There's also a volume rocker up and down, and also you can press that in to gain access to the menu. 
And another nice feature is there is actually a headphone socket. So if you don't want to use the two built-in one watt speakers, which are absolutely fine and they make plenty of noise. So if you're just sat watching a movie or something, they're gonna be absolutely fine. But if you want a little bit more clarity or you haven't got a set of speakers, then you can plug in a set of headphones there. And that is using the TRS inputs. So it's absolutely fine. Okay, so I've plugged it back in now, just so we can take a look at the screen. I've done some close-ups of this as well. It's actually really hard to actually get decent footage of any kind of monitor. So uh, yeah, this is no different, but you'll get a good idea. Obviously, beauty of this, if you are buying one and you're using Amazon.co.uk, I'm not sure how it works in other regions, but if you're not entirely sure, maybe it's not coming across in this video how good it actually is, do yourself a favor, order one. You get 30 days to try it in your home. Obviously with Amazon, if you don't like it, then you can just send it back within 30 days and get a full refund. Obviously you have the hassle of sending it back, etc. but it's not the end of the world. At least that way you can try it in your own home for up to 30 days. So do check the sellers, etc. when you're doing this as well. It isn't always for all sellers. Some third party sellers don't adhere to that. Anyway, I digress. So in a moment, we've got a screen on here so you can see you can uh, scroll through as you would normally with a touch screen and it works very well. The touch sensitivity is excellent and you can kind of expand it and reduce it as you should do normally. 10, po 10 points multi-touch, although do, yeah, I, I've never actually done that. So yeah, maybe you might want to, I don't know, potentially. But yeah, it all works very well. If you press on things like start menu, etc., you can find it and you've got the sliding widgets from the side, etc. Again, you can scroll through those as you would normally. So this, for some people, is gonna be awesome because if maybe you've got your main desktop in the middle or your laptop, and there's other things on the screen that you wanna interact with or you just wanna click on to say you've acknowledged an email or something, this is actually really handy so you don't have to worry about getting your mouse, dragging it all the way across onto the other screen. Oh my God, the hardship. You can just touch the screen, so that is really good. You don't have to use it as a touch screen if you don't want to, but the feature is there should you need it. And in terms of actual visual quality, it's an IPS, like I said, 250 nits, so it's not the brightest, but the speakers, again, are pretty good. And we'll take a look now at some footage we did a little bit earlier so you can see what it's like. Again, the footage isn't the best. It doesn't give a full reproduction of what I can visually see myself, but you get an idea of what it's like. It's uh, very sharp, very crisp. And I think 1080p at 14 inches is basically a sweet spot. It's kind of like having 4K at maybe 24 to 27 inches. So the actual dot pixels are very small and yeah, it just, it looks really, really nice. The viewable angles as well are excellent. So even with me here on the side, I can basically see pretty much everything there. I can see that I've zoomed all the way in. I can see that I've zoomed all the way out. So even if you're on a slight angle, maybe you're using this in an office environment. You wanna show people things which are on your laptop. You've maybe got your PowerPoint screen on one side. You're gonna flip this round so other people can watch the presentation on a smaller screen for more kind of intimate presentations. It's gonna be absolutely great. So tons and tons of features, tons of possibilities. Essentially, it's gonna come down to what you actually need it for. For me personally, I think I'm gonna end up mounting this on the side of my PC cabinet and using it as an additional touchscreen for Discord whilst I'm playing games so I can uh, keep in touch with uh, you guys out there who are watching the video. Or potentially I might use it whilst I'm doing live streams. I can actually set up the chat on here. So whilst I'm live streaming, I can have the screen looking at me and I can acknowledge it or clear things on the screen, move camera settings, etc., without having a huge monitor in the way. So yeah, it is very good. It looks very nice. The price I think is absolutely bang on. Again, there is gonna be a spring sell on amazon.co.uk. I think it starts around about the 27th of March through to possibly the 2nd of April. So do look in the video description. There'll be all the details there. I think we're gonna be getting something like about possibly 20% off somewhere in that region. I have the exact details on an email. I'll put that in the video description, so do check it out. But yeah, there will be a voucher from Andy Seen themselves, plus there'll be the additional Amazon voucher as well. So you can kind of bank them together and save a ton of money, hopefully. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you wanna find out any more about this particular monitor or any of the other touchscreen monitors or portable monitors that Andy Seen do, there will be links in the video description. I think that's gonna wrap things up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.